everyone. Today I'm going to show you the different colors of different liquid indicators. Indicators are usually used for titrations to show the equivalence point of a reaction. The indicators that we are going to be looking at today are methyl orange, phenolphthalene, thymolphthalene, thymol blue, bromthymol blue, bromphenol blue, and the universal indicator. The first one that we're going to take a look at is methyl orange. I'm going to put about two drops to each of these. There are three different colors that methyl orange shows. It starts from red or pink color at very low pH and it turns to orange color at pH 3 or 4. And then it continues on to show yellow color. Because methyl orange pH range is from 3 to 4, it is suitable to be used in titrations that has an acidic equivalence point. And when you titrate, you should stop titrating when you reach an orange color like these two. The next indicator is phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein pH range is from pH 8 to pH 10. That's where phenolphthalein changes from colorless to pink. So phenolphthalein is suitable to be used in a titration of strong acid and strong alkali because the equivalence point is expected to lie at pH around 7, which is close to pH 8 the pH range of phenolphthalein. The next indicator is thymolphthalein. Thymolphthalein pH range is from pH 10 to 11. That's when it changes from clear colorless below pH 10 to blue above pH 10. So because the end point is at around pH 10 or 11, thymophthalein is suitable for titrations of strong alkalis against weak acid where you expect the equivalence point to lie at an alkaline pH. This next indicator is thymol blue. We can see that thymol blue has several colors. So you start with pink here and then followed by red, orange, yellow and it turns green at around pH 8 and continue to give blue colors at around pH 10. Thymol blue is actually a component that is used in universal indicator. The next indicator is bromothymol blue. You can see it has around three or four colors starting from the acidic pH of yellow up to pH 5 and then followed by green, six, blue or a bluish green and this is followed by blue color starting from pH 8. Now green is the mixture of 
blue and yellow color and that's why it shows up at the transition here in the middle it's similar to methyl orange methyl orange is red at low ph and then turns orange and then turns to yellow it's because red and yellow together makes orange so orange will be the end point for methyl orange whereas for brom indicator the end point will be this color here the greenish color so when you titrate using bromothymol you have to stop once you see the first tinge of green color the next indicator is bromophenol blue from yellow in the very low pH area and turns to green mixture of the blue and yellow colors green at pH 3 and then followed by blue and all the way to the higher pH so the end point for bromophenol blue is this green color here at pH 3 it is suitable to be used in a titration of strong acid and weak base because the pH of the equivalence point is an acidic pH. The next indicator is universal indicator. This is available in paper or in solution. And the indicator can tell us approximately what the pH is of our solution. Universal indicator has a similar color as rainbow. So it's very easy to memorize it. It goes from red, orange, yellow, green, then blue and then purple on the higher pH area. Because the color changes almost every pH level, universal indicator can be used to indicate the pH of a solution. However, it does not have a very clear endpoint because it changes color many times. So it is not suitable to be used as an indicator in a titration.